little Gonji. Lovely Jacqueline who's playing Mother Teresa, who she'd have to look like an age Mother Teresa. Matthew Smith, I'm a prosthetic makeup designer for film and television. The procedure starts with Jacqueline the actress coming to my workshop. It's gonna be cold. We're gonna put it on your head and it's gonna all feel like a weird sensation. It's gonna run over your eyes. We'll be pushing it in your eyes. Just relax breathing. And then when it comes to near your nose, I'm just gonna keep your nostrils clear. Uh, the last bit that went on, we're just waiting for that to just go a bit harder, Jacqueline, but it won't take a few moments. Yeah, okay. Doing great with me, a nice cup of tea after. We take a, a life cast of her whole head, and from that, I do a plaster positive. I start sculpting and all the while I set up mirrors so I could see the profile because Mother Teresa's got quite a distinct profile. So it's a fine line between Jacqueline and Mother Teresa because you don't want to lose Jacqueline's performance. So you're kind of turning Jacqueline slowly into an age Mother Teresa. My name's Steve Painter. Uh, I'm a freelance prosthetic makeup artist and supervisor. The procedure is very complicated. People think it's just one mask that goes onto the face. It's actually broken down into six or seven segments. We have a forehead, a nose, cheek, a chin, neck, and the backs of Jacqueline's hands are prosthetics as well. And it takes three or four hours of us applying that with medical glues to Jacqueline or to the actress's face. And each day we go through a set of pieces for Jacqueline, which are very fragile. Depending on how many days she shoots, we have to have a piece each for each day. It's destroyed, taking it off. Action. Quick, we need to get that off here. You know, in hot temperatures, the adhesive will hold as long as you'd expect it to, and when you don't expect it to, it will hold. It depends on the actor's skin underneath. For Mother Teresa, we're using uh, encapsulated silicon prosthetics. They look and move like real flesh. They've got like a nice consistency to them. Part of our job is constantly watching the monitor. If Kamal, the director, questions anything, or if I see something I'm not happy with, we'll go straight in and correct it. So it's an ongoing process. It's for me as an actress an extremely um, strong support to, to have this mask and to uh, feel authentic also in, in uh, the age of 80. The challenge is always to trying to get the best makeup so that we can fool people into believing what they see is real. <laughs> 